Okay, we're here at the Vision, yeah? Um, yeah, dome. It's like a Buckman's uh, Fuller construction, I think. Yes, it is. Yeah, um, with uh, Cecilia Dean. Um, yeah, Cecilia, thank you very much. Do you have time for an interview? Mm -hmm. Perhaps you could tell us a little bit about the Vision Air, the history of Vision Air. Well, um, actually, these are a couple of our back issues, and we come out about three times a year, but each time is completely different. So we've done um, we've done an issue where you have to taste everything. So this is our taste issue. We debuted this last year. We did an, we did an issue once where you have to smell everything. So you have all the images in here. And they have corresponding smell. Oh man, there's a lot, a lot more. We've been around for about 15 years. Um, what we're doing here is debuting our 50th issue. So it's very exciting for us because it's our 50th issue. We've been around for a while. And we did a set of toys with artists. It's sort of a follow-up to another issue that we did. We did a set of toys last year with fashion designers. So that's Carl Lagerfeld, Donatella Versace, Alexander McQueen. John Galliano, Helmut Lang, um, and so we really wanted to work with fine artists. So we came up with a new shape, and we approached all artists. So um, yeah. So the idea is they're all nesting. So this is Tim Noble and Sue Webster, and you know that's that's how it sits in the case. It actually glows in the dark, and the way they designed theirs, their concept was you stack it. So that's Tim, and the other side's Sue, which I think is a really cute concept because I would never think of doing that. Um, another great toy we did was with Kahende Wiley, who's a pretty major artist at the moment. and. There's the portrait. Well, this is based on one of his paintings, and we took all the layers and divided it all up. So we basically transformed one of his paintings into a, a nesting figurine. How are the uh, ideas for the issues uh, developed? Do you have a team, or uh, who does? Uh... Yeah, we have a really great team. Um, you know, there's three of us uh, founding editors who started it together, and we're, we still work on it together. And we have a great creative director, we have an incredible design team, and we do brainstorms every week and talk about ideas. And uh, we have a lot of ideas, so it's just about the time to, to do them all. The original idea of Visionaire was to publish work from photographers who had personal work that was never seen because um, maybe there was too much Maybe it was a little risque, it was too personal, there wasn't any merchandise in it, so it was this incredible artwork that was just left in a drawer, and the whole idea was we would be the forum to publish it to get it out into the world, because we didn't really care about if it had the latest handbag, and you know, it was, it was just great images. Um, and then the other idea was to always keep it changing, like, Every magazine is, you know, 9 by 12 and very homogeneous looking. Everything looks the same now. And we really wanted to do something that, that wasn't always the same, that a lot of people don't realize that all these issues are visionaires. They think like, oh, well, this is the deck of cards issue and this is the Louis Vuitton issue. But, but actually, they're all visionaires. We don't even have one logo that keeps coming up. It's, they're completely different. And so we started really pushing the boundaries of what publishing is. And so for, for an issue like this, so you ask yourself, is this publishing? And for us it is publishing because you don't just have to take a 2D image and reprint it on a piece of paper for it to be publishing. For us you can take 
a great image or a sketch or an illustration and print it on a three-dimensional shape. And for us, that's still publishing. It's just on a different format. And so that's, that's how we explain these particular toy issues. And um, how many issues do you have per year? Uh, we only do about three. And you can subscribe to, uh, to it? Yeah. And costs? Well, each issue, uh, well, this particular issue costs $175, and we do a limited edition of $4,000. Um, and a subscription in the United States is $675, in Europe it's $800. So it actually works out pretty good, and, and then you guarantee your issue. Um, a private collector actually auctioned his collection of visionaires at Sotheby's for $32,000. So there was a lot of interest in getting back issues and of course a lot of them are completely unavailable or they cost a huge amount of money. Um, so as an offshoot to this project we did um, three blank white toys. They also nest so it's the same format and it comes with four sharpies and so that way you can do your own design and, and be an artist and all the money goes to the Elizabeth Glazer Pediatric AIDS Foundation. So this is sort of our, our special holiday season gift. I really love it.